To start the enrollment or the enrollment with contract process, you need to log in with your user account in the provider portal. Once logged in, click on the Enroll as an Individual button from the dashboard page. Alternatively, if you've already submitted an application through the provider portal before and you wish to submit a new application, then click on the Provider Management option of the navigation menu and select Provider Information. You should see the New Enrollment button towards the right of the screen and on clicking it you should select Individual. On clicking the mentioned button, a pop-up window will appear with three steps. The first step includes important instructions relating to the enrollment process. Once you read them, you need to click on the button Next at the bottom right of the page, which will take you to Step 2. Here you need to choose a single segment for which you are interested to apply and click on the Next button at the bottom of the window to proceed to Step 3. In Step 3, you need to declare the specialties which you hold and for which you will be providing healthcare services under the GHS and click the button Proceed. Kindly note that if you select the Pharmacy segment, you'll automatically skip Step 3 as there are no specialties for the specific segment. In order to be able to submit an application through the Provider Portal, the HIO needs to verify your personal details from trusted Cyprus government data sources such as the Population Registry and the Immigration Registry. As such, if this is the first time you're submitting an application through the Provider Portal and you've not already enrolled as a GHS beneficiary, you'll have to enroll first as a beneficiary and then proceed with the Healthcare Provider Enrollment application. Please note that it's mandatory that you complete all fields presented in this step exactly as printed on your identification document with Latin characters only and press the button Verify Beneficiary to proceed. Once you successfully enroll as a beneficiary, then a relevant success message will be displayed at the top right of the screen and the enrollment application will be automatically presented to you. First, you need to fill in at least all mandatory fields of the personal and contact details sections of the application. Note that mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk and instructions will guide you as you progress in completing your application. At this point, if you're a healthcare professional and wish to send an enrollment to the GHS application for the provision of healthcare services on behalf of a healthcare provider, for example an employed doctor, pharmacist or lab director, you'll need to review your application and click on the Submit and Print button. If you're self-employed and wish to send an enrollment and contract application as an individual, a natural person, to the GHS, You'll need to mark the Request a Contract with the GHS to provide Healthcare Services as an Individual checkbox at the bottom of the page and confirm your action so that the sections relating to the contract application are presented. It's mandatory that you complete the Insurance, Payment Details and Office Location sections that will be presented. Once you've filled in all sections of the enrollment application, Review the application and then click the Submit and Print button. The system will ask you to confirm the submission of your application and will remind you of related important information. The system will also check your application for completeness and correctness and in case errors are found, a warning message will appear in the top right corner. If no errors are found, your application will be successfully submitted and then automatically downloaded in the form of a PDF document for printing. If for any reason your application is not automatically displayed, you'll be able to find it in the Downloads folder of your computer. You'll need an application for opening PDF files such as Adobe Acrobat Reader in order to open and print your application. Once you locate your downloaded contract application, you need to print it and read the instructions at the back of your application which, among others, refer to the need for signing your printed contract application and attaching the required supporting documentation. Meanwhile, you'll be redirected to the Provider Information page where you can view your submitted contract application with status Pending under the Enrollments and Contracts section.